Hey guys, it's your girl Malika, aka Ms. Magic. Day four of the shut in. You've made a hair appointment two weeks ago. You can't go. You're looking crazy, and your man coming over tonight. I'm going to show you guys how to do a silk press from home. Yep, you heard it right. A silk press from home that you can do yourself. So get ready. I'm going to give you the proper tools so that when you get through, you're going to look like this. Hey, baby. How was work? Mwah. I'm going to teach you right after this. Every single day. Okay, guys, first thing you're going to need is a random t-shirt so you won't get all a nice shirt wet. Then you're going to need a towel to dry your hair off. Let's talk about shampoos. You can get an inexpensive shampoo. I'm going to be using um, Aussie shampoo, which I really like and is very inexpensive. It gets the job done. Um, get your hair nice and clean. And I'm going to use the L'Oreal Aleve Conditioner, which I love. It gets your hair super soft. It is all, it is almost salon grade, I swear. So you should always have that conditioner in your home. It is very good. Um, sec, uh, thirdly, we're going to need a wide tooth comb to comb through your hair. You must have a wide tooth comb. You don't want to pull all your hair out. Um, then you're going to need a blow dryer, preferably with a comb attachment. If you do not know how to use a brush, a comb is very easy. You basically just comb in the your hair through the blow dryer as it dries. Then you're going to need your heat protectant. That goes on before you blow dry your hair. You're supposed to spray your whole hair with the heat protectant. I like the Tresemme Keratin Smooth. Super cheap. It's like $5 a bottle at Walmart. Very good for your hair. Um, then you're going to need your Super Shine Silk Press Hair Silk by Cantu. I use that for home. Um, that bottle is like 8 bucks, but the, the real silk costs like $20 a bottle. So it's a pretty good alternative. Next, if your hair gets um, reverts quickly, that is a, um, a thermal spray. And it, it helps you with humidity. You get the medium hole or you can get the uh, mild hole, soft hole, if you don't want your hair to get hard. It's basically just so it won't revert. Um, okay, let's get started. With this head, baby, let's get it together so you'll look cute. Because right now you're looking a hot ass mess. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, first we're going to put a strainer in the sink um, so that the hair won't go down the drain. You should use a, get a strainer that is um, just for your hair if you wash your hair in the sink. Get the uh, water nice and warm and let's get our hair nicely saturated. Um, before we shampoo it, it needs to be very, very wet so that the shampoo can lather up nicely and be evenly distributed throughout the head. Next, you're going to take a nice amount of shampoo, lather your hair up, get it all over. Uh, like I said, use a very nice amount. Get that head nice and saturated. Scrub it through, scrub it through. Scrub it all in, scrub it real good. There you go. Now you're going to rinse it all out. Make sure you get the back of that neck. I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm doing my second shampoo now. I thought I got the back of my neck, but I didn't. All right, get this a second shampoo. Now, this is for good measure. I usually take the comb, comb it through. Make sure it's nice and clean. Your hair must be very clean. All right, rinse that second shampoo out real good. There you go. Rinse it out super good. All right. I got still got a little bit on my neck, but that's okay. Now you're going to uh, make sure you don't have no soap in your eye. You put your conditioner in. Now we're about to put the conditioner in. Put a nice amount of conditioner in. Fully saturate the hair with the conditioner. And comb it through with your comb. Make sure you get the back, the front. Comb it all the way through. Grab, grab every inch. Comb that conditioner through. It is very important to hydrate your hair. That's what's going to seal in the moisture when you rinse it out. So hydrate that hair real good. All right, okay, so now we're going to rinse. It. This is very important so that you can seal in that, the, that conditioner, those cuticles. You have to rinse it out with nice, cool water, lukewarm to cool. The cooler, the better that you can stand it because that's going to, the conditioner that you just put in your hair, that is going to seal those cuticles with that nice, hydrating conditioner. That's why I like that L'Oreal Elite because 
it is a very good humectant. And a humectant is basically a condition that, conditioner that has a lot of moisture in it, which is very good for the hair. But you must rinse it out, just like the shampoo, rinse it all out. Okay, then you're gonna wrap your hair with your towel and let that sit for five minutes. Okay, after the five minutes, because you want to let your hair dry a little bit in the towel, you're gonna take your take the other crazy. You're gonna take it down and section it into three parts. You could do more. My hair is thinner, so you could do more parts if you want to. I only need three parts because my hair is not that thick. Um, so, section off the one side, then a section off the second side, then I kind of leave the back down because that's where I start blow drying first. And I only do that first because that's where I can't see. As you see in the back, I got 30,000 different curl lengths, but that's just the way my hair is, so deal with it. Alright, we're going to get started on the blow dry process. Okay guys, so when you start blow drying your hair, uh, the key to success is using tension. You must pull the hair a little bit with the comb. Same thing they do with the brush, they use tension, they, they stretch it. So this helps with the silkening of your hair, getting it nice and shiny, and it also um, stretch, stretch, uh, straightens the hair. So you gotta use a little tension, you can't just sit there with the uh, heat on there, you gotta use tension. That's the secret, that's the real secret to a good press, is the blow dry, always. Um, I made a mistake here, I'm about to tell y'all what it is. Okay guys, I messed up on this video. Before, when I took that towel off, I was supposed to spray my whole head with this. This is the reason why I can't keep no curls in my head either. This is the Tresemme Keratin Smoother. You should have put this in your head before, right when you took that towel off. So I'm going to put a disclaimer before I do it. But I'm going to spray some in my head now. That's the problem. That's my problem. Speedball. Speedball win. Even though this blow dry is not even that hot, but it's still. All right, let's carry on. Okay, guys, I forgot to introduce the star of the show. It's a flat iron. Um, safely 410 is a good bet. I do 450 because that's just what I like. But usually I do 410 on the client. A little silk press in your hair. I usually section it back off into threes uh, and start with the back. I part it line by line. I don't use real big trunks, but chunks, but I don't use real little chunks either. Uh, I just kind of gauge it and, and part it out line by line till I get to the top. And then I move on to the side. I finish that top um, I'll turn around and look my in the mirror so that I can get that top flat iron real good then go on to the, uh, the two sections in the front and flat iron those the same way once again using good tension because like I said that's going to get you that shine and the straightness that you need only one pre uh, pass never do two three passes even with thick hair I don't do two to three passes it's just, it's just not necessary
I wanna be left alone But you're all up in my head just like headphones Hey guys, I know I did speed ball through this So that's why down below in the comment section If you have any questions about what I did, how I did it Why I did it, why I didn't do this Please don't feel free to ask me I will answer any questions, I promise you um, just but leave your comments below. First and basically, one. that's it. That's my flat iron. Please subscribe, you like, comment, stash, ask questions. Do what you gotta do. You Mama's done. You cash at. Probably have a man, but I don't really wanna ask that. I don't wanna know why you blowing up my phone. We supposed to keep this on the low. Dynamite, my cellie on dynamite. Through the night, stay buzzing on through the night. Shining bright, I'm popping so I'm a type Let it ring a few times, I know that you'll still be mine all right, and see you back. too can have a sex press just, just like the slime straight from yeah. home out your bathroom the only as one knows easy how to as one, two, three. Take I hope you all enjoyed this like video. Cap, I love I you guys. You I'll like see you it. next time. Girl, it ain't Take no the best shape like of like the like it. My hair is layered, by the way, so I keep it short like this so that I can build myself a good one for me. And it's kind of thin, so but... I think I did well, I'm just 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 Y'all still here? Y'all go home. I know it say this ain't over, but it is. It's, no, nah, for real. This ain't over. I love you guys. Bye.